What's up, guys? It's me, Prince Dynamic, and I welcome you to another episode of my YouTube video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing something different from the norms. Yes, I mean something completely different from whatever you see me do on this channel. I think about a while ago, I did a review of the Photoshop beta version. That's the one with the AI. I did a review of that about some a while ago on my Instagram um, page, on my Instagram handle, where I was talking about the generative view feature of the AI. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something completely different from that. Still on the generative AI feature, but something completely different from that. And this time around, it's going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you how I took this video from looking like this to looking like this. So this looks cool, right? This looks cozy. This look looks looks sweet. It looks it looks soft, right? All right. It's not like this. This studio is actually bad. The studio is not bad. Like obviously, it's a studio, so it has all the equipment that I need. But it's it's kind of small. So I'm going to show you how I enlarged it, making it look as big as this. So I'm going to show you how you can do this using Premiere Pro and using Photoshop as well. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, so the first thing I did was to, after I shot the video, I took the video to Premiere Pro and I exported a frame of the video, 12 frames, so that's why you see this JPEG here. Then, the next thing I did was to bring it over to Photoshop and you can see I deleted some of the unwanted edges and I started imputing my prompts. So, prompts like extend background, you can see it was getting stupid at some point. <laughs> So it's getting so well at some point, but I was able to steal. So I just basically enter some simple prompts. I see this some kind of refined touches on it myself though. So what I did like extend background, add edge, table edge. When I saw that it was not looking well, okay, I, I went ahead and tried. So basically what I think is that for this stuff, it just requires you trying out stuff for yourself. You can see that at some point I did like an extension instead of just filling it up. So it is better to build the prompt up bit by bit so that it does not start to look so mild. As some things I manipulated myself, like the table here, I took it to cover the table space. I think it did. Yeah, I did. So I I did like some of those things myself. Like you can see, I extended the background. So I filled this one up. Um, I did some patches just to ensure that it is looking good. I took away this line. And stuff like that then the next thing i did after i extended so i i think i wanted to add a cutting uh wall interior but it was not so one thing i noticed about it, it was not giving the perfect stuff that i needed so at some point it was looking on view so and one thing I, you must also take note of is the fact that it does not work in any our photoshop so it works for those who have the paid version of the photoshop at least that uh, I am aware of. I don't know if it works for the cracked version. And this is not the normal Photoshop. So this is the, the Adobe Photoshop, the beta version. And so that is when it comes with the AI. The normal 2023 does not come with the AI. It only comes with selecting background and moving background and stuff like that. So I started adding my prompt to by little. So when I say prompt, I mean like what I wanted to do. I started asking it to do the stuff. And the designs were actually good. I noticed some inconsistency, which I corrected myself without having to wait for the entire design to be done. Without having to wait for the entire design to be done, right? So then the next thing I did was to um, come in. I'm coming. All right. So, um, another thing I did after imputing all of this stuff, so I'm just going to mention some of things that are very important. So the first thing you should notice is that you should always shoot on a clear background. If you notice the image I used, the one I cut out, you see that I did not use the normal background that I would have used in a normal day. So I had to shoot on a plain background so that I can have complete control over it. Then second thing is Photoshop does not actually edit the video. Like, for it's not Photoshop I used to edit the video, it was Premiere Pro. So some of us were thinking that oh I did it with Photoshop. 
So it is not basically Photoshop. Photoshop is the one with the generative AI, but Premiere Pro is what makes everything comes to life, right? So um, I use the prompts to build it, like I said. And so after imputing all of the things that I wanted, the frame and stuff, so that's just what I did. And I and one thing I observe about it is that if you're not careful with it and if you don't use the right prompts, it can get it can get very crazy. Like in short in a very short period, it can get very, very crazy. So try to experiment several prompts. You don't need to you don't need to um so you basically don't need to um go overboard with it but just try as well as possible as much as possible to impute to try different uh, several pumps so um basically that was what i did with this design then so i added table lamp um i tried adding some other things which was not really sitting well with me like i tried adding um a camera a macro i stopped but the results was just so crazy <laughs> This one was so out of this world, so I just removed it because it was, it was so annoying. It was so annoying. So instead, I added some other things like green plants to the wall. Uh, I chose the one that was much more realistic, right? And I added a, a wooden clay dinner, plant dinner, what was it called? But it was not giving me exactly what I wanted. So I just had to go online. Um, instead, I went to search for gliding myself and I came back and I added the stuff just by myself. So you see that yeah, I did that just by myself. And as I came up with it, that design. So what I did was I exported this design. Exported the design and I took it to Premiere Pro. Alright guys, we are in Premiere Pro. What I did was pretty simple. I imported the JPEG, that's the one that we exported from Photoshop, and I placed it on top of the original video. So I reduced the size to be sure that the video is the same size as the JPEG. Then I went ahead using the max tool to mask it out. Then I ensured that none of my body was going out of the video. So guys, we're from to the end of today's video. Do well to leave a thumbs up for me. Do well to drop a comment if you have any. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are just coming across this channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you are not a part of our gang. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Peace out.